What's up, magical people? Welcome back to Your Most Magical Life. I'm Mia Magic, and today I am sharing one of my absolute favorite practices with you that is totally transformative, absolutely, completely shifted and changed my entire life when I devoted myself to this practice. And this is what I like to call channel writing. You can call it stream of consciousness writing. Some people call it a higher self letter. This is a practice that I utilized in literally one of the most rapidly transformational periods in my life. And what's so big and important about it is that it's not all about just like doing the letter or doing the writing part. It's about following through. It's about saying yes. It's about following your intuition. And that is why I called my book Intuition because the difference between intuition and intuition, you gotta put the witch in intuition, is about your wisdom. Wisdom is embodied knowledge. Wisdom is taking action and listening to the guidance that you receive, not just receiving it, but saying, oh, I'm actually gonna do something about it. I'm actually, it's a difference right between hearing and listening. It's like, oh, I hear you, or I'm listening to you. I'm actually gonna say yes to that thing. Oh my goddess, y'all, quick interruption. I am editing this video and completely forgot to mention to you all that when you pre-order Intuition, there are a ton of epic bonuses that I am offering. Master's classes, meditations, a chance to win one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. So if you pre-order the book today, you have a beautiful collection of incredible activations and workshops and little classes that we're going to do together. So make sure that you submit on the Intuition page. I'm going to put all the links here below, but if you have already pre-ordered, you can submit your proof of purchase on this page and have access to all of these amazing events and experiences that are just for the Intuition community. I'm so excited to have you. And now back to our regularly scheduled channeled writing. And this is a practice, like I said, y'all, I did this every single day for about a year. I have a whole massive journal that's filled with all of these letters. Every single time that I listened to the guidance that I received, some kind of magic would occur. Some miracle would happen. Some blessing would, would arrive on my doorstep or in my life. And I truly noticed that I was changing too not only because I was taking new actions and stepping outside of my comfort zone, but because I was teaching myself a new vibration and embodiment of trust, of trust in the universe and of trust in myself. And the true origin of the word confidence comes from confidere in Latin, and that meant to trust or to trust in the benevolence of right? Like in French, we call it your confidant is like your closest trusted friend that you can tell all of your secrets to. So to become confident is to cultivate a sense of trust, to trust yourself, to trust the universe, to trust in the benevolence of life that is actually here to serve, support, help you grow, help you expand and to become the best or most magical version of yourself. So this practice involves a little bit of meditation. And luckily I have a free absolutely 100% free way of doing this practice for and with yourself. I'm gonna put the link below. I call it my intuition practice or revealing your soul's truth. You can call it the higher self letter again. It's really whatever you wanna call it, but if you want to try this practice on your own, please do this meditation every day for 30 days and watch as your life changes. Watch your entire reality transform. Watch your fantasies become your reality, okay? Like it's that magical. So what I did with this practice every single day, again, for about a year, like I went really deep. I recommend doing it for at least a month because your life will totally change. I kept doing it because the results were so drastic and dramatic and absolutely mind blowing. So what I did is the first thing when I woke up, I would sit in meditation for 15 minutes. Now I just used binaural beats, but I have created this beautiful meditation for you guys that I think is even more helpful, um, really drops you in even deeper to that internal listening and to the connection with your higher self, to your body as a component of the elements that really opens your channels, opens your connection and direct line to the divine. And then I would write this proclamation and I would say, I call upon my higher self, the redwood trees, mother earth, mother nature, the dragons, like whoever your guides are, my spirit guides, the angelic realm, you can call upon whatever you want, but you start the writing with, I call upon X, again, choose your own adventure. Please write to me, through me, anything I meant to receive in this moment. 
This is my absolute simplest and most profound practice. But again, it's not just about what comes through because what comes through is going to be so magical. I was receiving letters from the universe from my higher self that were just so potent, it couldn't have possibly been anything else. And then you get these directives, you get these pieces of guidance, go do this today, try this, talk to this person, send this message, whatever it is. And if you listen, if you follow through, you will be rewarded. Some massive gift will, will drop into your life. It's so, so powerful and so profound. Now, the same can be said for if you don't listen. So just watch out. I'm not like putting any, you know, we're not, this is not fatalistic. I'm not putting any curses on anybody here, but just be mindful because your inner child is also a part of this equation, part of your connection to your higher self. Your inner child is always there within you. And oftentimes our inner children have learned that they cannot trust us or they cannot trust our intuition because maybe we followed our intuition to do something when we were little kids and we got punished and, and someone around us like made us feel bad or like our gifts were too much or scary or like we were going to be institutionalized. I have some really psychic friends who were institutionalized as little kids. So I know that there can be a lot of damage and trauma to our intuition. So please be mindful that if you go and follow a piece of guidance and something bad happens, what that's actually doing is showing you your programming around your intuition, that you, you are so powerful that you're proving to yourself, oh, see, like I shouldn't trust or I shouldn't listen or I should never like follow through on those things. And what the invitation is, you know, like the universe, when we think about how fast the universe is, y'all, like zoom out, even just like beyond our planet, beyond our solar system, beyond our galaxy, like us having a little hard moment or like a something frustrating is inconsequential to the universe. It's irrelevant. It's not like that worried about us getting frustrated. So don't think of it as like you're being punished. Think of it as just a greater cosmic play of reality that's occurring. And what the opportunity is for you is to choose a different response, to react differently. So how can I take that information and see, wow, my subconscious is so powerful that I actually tried to prove to myself that I shouldn't trust my intuition. And what I want to do is keep cultivating trust. So I'm going to do another letter tomorrow and I'm going to ask questions about that and I'm going to dive deeper. And then when it tells me to do something else, I'm still going to go and say yes. And the more I cultivate that sense of trust and allow my inner child to feel really confident and again, really like it can rely on my benevolence and the benevolence of the universe, even in the face of an illusion that might appear differently, that's when I become a truly confident person, when I know that I can trust myself and I operate in a way that feels trustworthy to my inner child, which creates massive safety. And then our reality around us transforms because we're feeling safe and we're feeling trusting and we're feeling at ease within our nervous system which is something we uh, very few of us actually feel on a regular basis and yet is meant to be our normal functioning state. So the more you listen, the more you say yes, the more you take these actions, you are going to have to get outside of your comfort zone. It's gonna ask you to do things that are very edgy, very stretchy, um, that you don't think that you're capable of doing, but when you do them, you know, it's like there's a Mandela quote, something like, um, it always seems impossible until it is done. And that is very much the case with this letter, this practice, this process is you might be asked to do something that you feel like it's impossible, but then you go and do it. And the reward that you experience is so profound. You're like totally blown away that you actually achieved and accomplished that thing. And not only does that change your perspective of yourself, change the way you relate to yourself, treat yourself, talk to yourself again in a micro way, it's going to take time to truly create change but it also creates a ripple out into the collective consciousness. And that I think is the actual most important part of this practice. Of course you can work on it within yourself. Of course you can dive super deep into saying yes and creating trust within yourself. 100% please absolutely do that. And be aware of the fact that you are changing the entire relationship to intuition, to trust, to confidence to listening to the higher self, to receiving the voice of God, goddess, universal consciousness, or the divine, because most people just aren't doing that. So you are sending a ripple out. You are anchoring that safety and that frequency into the universe, and that is super helpful and super healing. So thank you for doing that because it's incredibly important. 
So again, this practice is absolutely free for you. I am so grateful to be sharing it. This is truly, y'all, like my life went from being one thing, like I was totally broke and lost and alone and like didn't have any friends and was just like hated myself and all the things. And then I had a thriving career and all this amazing community and all these dope witch friends and was like stepping into this whole new version of myself, the most magical version of myself. And it's all from following this guidance. And the best part is, is that it's all you. And the only thing that I will say is some people have asked me, well, how do I know if it's my ego versus my higher self? You can feel the sensation. You can feel the truth coming out. And whenever it goes into like attack or um, unkindness or sabotage, now loving firmness is different than harshness. The goddess, your higher self, can be very firm with you, can call you out on your bullshit, can make sure that you're not like making excuses, but it's not unkind and it's not uh, harsh or critical. It's lovingly firm, it's clear. And it's true, like it's truthful what it will say. So it's gonna really depend on you and how you receive information. Does it feel like contracted or expansive? Does it feel like harsh and critical and like, uh, does it sound like mean like this? Or does it sound open and just like, hey, I want you to know this. Like, I want you to understand this thing because it's very, those are the distinctions that you're gonna make is how does it feel? Does it feel truthful? Does it feel kind? Does it feel lovingly firm? Or does it feel harsh? Does it feel contractive? Does it sound mean, feel mean? And that's gonna be the big difference. I will always notice, oh, if I, if I start to get like mean in the letter, I'm like, oh, hold on, wait a second. Like, whoa, that's my ego coming in. That's my small self. That's like my limitation. We're not listening to that. And I'll like call it in again. Wait, what does my higher self actually have to say about this? And usually it will comment on something about that relationship to the ego and, and what I want to change, right? Or how I can change that habit or where it came from. So again, this practice is absolutely free to you. I'm so grateful to be sharing it. Thank you all so much for watching. I cannot wait to hear how this goes in the comments. Let me know after you try it, what starts to change, what starts to shift, what ways you step out of your comfort zone, what scary things you do, and then realize how magical you are and prove to yourself that you are so much more capable than you ever thought before. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anyone you think it will resonate with. And I am so grateful to you all for being here. Thank you for allowing me to share my most magical life with you. I am Mia Magic, and as always, welcome to your most magical life.